Frank Smith there last Sunday, the Los Angeles Rams went up against the Cincinnati Bengals and took home the Vince Lombardi Trophy after a 23-20 win. Also hoping to bring home a championship win is the LA Kings hockey team. The Kings are currently 24-17 and 4th and in the Pacific Division. The Kings will play again tonight at T-Mobile Arena at 7 p.m. against the Vegas Golden Knights, who are 2nd in the Pacific Division. I'm Grace Osbo with your third and final set update. The Eagles came out strong with some big kills that helped them secure the win 25-14 and get the 3-0 sweep in the Pride of Prosper game. In the second week of district play, the town of Prosper dives into one of the most highly anticipated games of the season, the Pride of Prosper Cup. The PHS softball team is not only district champs, but also first in the 6A area rankings after an undefeated district season. Chief Blasting Game has been chief since 2017, but like I said, he has has been serving the town of Prosper for over 20 years, which is quite a long time. Grace Osbell here with your first set update. The Lady Eagles came out with an aggressive start, but the Blue Hawks began to find their footing about halfway through the set. It wasn't enough, however, to stop the Lady Eagles from getting the win 25 to 18. Be sure to come back for your second set update. We talked earlier about how the kids love candy, and I'm glad that Prosper basketball is feeding into that love. One of the world's largest sports organizations, PGA of America, relocated their headquarters to PGA Parkway in Frisco. While walking around downtown searching for a pair of interesting socks or sandals, Find Your Feet Sock and Sandal Shop is one shop to keep on your mind. Allison Wood takes a closer look at how this shop is helping customers express themselves. This is the first year that sister schools Prosper and Rock Hill face off on the gridiron since the high school split three years ago. Some members of the community have felt the collective sphere of the district slip. But despite being a dubbed rivalry, tonight's game is expected to bring PISD together. 